Okay, let's go to some of the snare. Yeah. Okay, that's like a super crunchy, almost like a clap snare. Yeah, nice. And I don't think there's necessarily, yeah, got Tube Tech, which is a compressor I used to work on a lot um, in the analog world, but the digital uh, sort of replication of it's really cool. And I find it gives me a lot of the same vibes. Just fell in love with this thing. Um, and then some EQ to take off some of the the top end, keep it thick, um, and reduce all those sub frequencies. And then we obviously can't get by with just that snare because it doesn't compete with the thickness of that kick. All right, so clearly stacked that. Let's hear this. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on here. I forgot a pattern of 13. <laughs> Six snares. All right, so total we have seven snares um, literally on the backbeat of this hook. So I might have went a little bit overboard here. Uh, do I always go this overboard? Nah. But when I feel like it, who cares? I'm a big sort of you know fan of sculpting the sounds and popping in what you need until you get your desired result. Sure, six snares sounds like a lot, but... Don't like limit yourself to these creative crippling guidelines that you think um, might be too extreme because if you don't explore those extremities, uh, you're never truly gonna find your own voice in music. All right, trap snare with a little bit of a verb. Okay, kind of gates off. I love gated verbs. <laughs> Probably shows my age. Oh, tambourine. So you clearly got like this metallic sustain, sort of the dark effect I was going for for this track. Oh yeah. Just a nice uh, sort of like 80s hip hop snare. Another trap layer for the brightness and the snap. Ah, almost like a dance snare. Yeah, real thick, strong attack. Yeah, and no effects on these. I think I must have been pretty happy with how I compiled them. 